trick is to get people talking to each other about the campaign and about the candidates. And if the candidate manages to build a very robust online community, the byproduct of that is usually money and action, which turns into votes at the polls. I think for young people, new media is really a gateway and a great entry point, but it has to be followed up besides just becoming a friend or uploading a video. Barack Obama has had the most success in building an online community of supporters. You can see, for example, that Barack Obama leads all the other Democrats by almost four to one in total Facebook friends. And on the Republican side, Ron Paul has double the amount of Facebook friends as any other candidate. I'm Trevor Lyman, and I helped organize an event that allowed Ron Paul supporters to raise $4.3 million in one day. Ron Paul decided early in his campaign that he was going to be transparent in the way in which he was collecting money. What that did was create a very positive feedback loop. A recent donor, Christian Wolfhart of Killian, Texas. Ron Paul put this flash counter that gives you a live update of how much money is raised. So every time someone makes a donation, the ticker goes up, people will start watching the money go up and get excited and, you know what, okay, I'll donate, just sort of spreads. The holy grail in online politics is to figure out how to convert online enthusiasm into offline action. You could have hundreds of thousands of MySpace friends. If people don't go to the polls, on election day, it doesn't mean anything. What I find really interesting is that there's certain candidates that people just overwhelmingly online seem to respond to. And I'm not sure if it's that candidate doing a better job of engaging those people, or it's that the people that tend to favor that candidate are just more prone to be online and understand how the technology works. We had people who gave $23,000, and we had people who gave $230, and we got a whole lot of people who gave $23. It's so hard to assess where this, all this new media is going to lead us because we've got so little perspective on it. Where television was in 1946 is where we are with internet video right now, which it's right at the start. I've talked to a lot of the people from these various campaigns who run their new media efforts and they'll be the first to tell you they're learning on the job. In future elections, it's going to be pretty clear that the 2008 election will be thought of as the benchmark that changed all elections forever. Just the way the 1960 presidential debate between Nixon and Kennedy changed the way people thought of television and politics. My God, they got on there now. Oh.